uh, just to mention, ahead of the Learning Technology show, which is next week, I think it's Wednesday and Thursday, um, I will be phoning in to the Wild Show between 10 and 12 on, on Thursday. But I think it's very interesting. Last Saturday in The, in the Guardian, uh, yeah, 20, 22nd of April, in the, in the money section, which is the personal finance section at the, at the back of the news bits, they were talking about... It's a, an article by Molly Raycroft, who is a freelance. She's not on Guardian staff, I don't think. Um, how to learn and study at low or no cost. And the MOOC is, isn't mentioned... But it's it's in the background to a few of the things which 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 turn up, including Khan Academy, and also Coursera as a, a a link to university courses, and Coursera are going to be there at Learning Technologies, um, Future Learner not edX not, but Coursera will be, and I think. As far as I know, this is this is this is one of the few Guardian bits of reporting about low cost education since mm, when would it have been? Maybe ten years ago, there was um, an interview with Peter Horrocks, who at that time was vice chancellor of the Open University, and spending loads of money on uh, Future Learn, and. Um, a lot of the, a lot of the questions were sort of fed in from various academics who were quite worried about this, and um, Peter Horrocks had to had to resign. And uh, well, since then um, the MOOC scene's been fantastically valuable. Uh, Harvard and MIT got eight hundred million dollars for edX. But then it's been more or less um, written off. So there's a, there's another story there to to tell, which we'll come back to here on the We Don't Know show. Yeah. We don't know what's going on, but we would like to know. Yes. That's more or less our point of view, That's isn't it? That's more or less our point of view. Last slogan. So this this is interesting. This is the first sign of um, print journalists getting interested in what uh, what might be available through online because th this this is saying well there, 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 there are qualifications there's like micro credentials I don't think the term micro credentials is used here but they do exist Duolingo is is mentioned here there's all sorts of things going on and it's crept into the personal finance pages of the Guardian. So maybe as a result of learning technologies, which seems to be aimed at HR departments, but there will be some academics connected with it, we imagine, um, these ideas might spread out into other parts of the newspaper. And we will come back to it in the future. I think that's enough of a rave, John. OK. Have you got a track? Yeah, we're going to play... Some